Did you know that before the coming of Christianity, that the early Irish could neither read nor write? And so for hundreds of years, indeed for thousands of years, all learning had been passed on by word of mouth. As a result, the Irish had become great storytellers. Some would say that to this day they are great storytellers. Some of the stories are beautiful. Some of them are gruesome. Now there is one beautiful story told about St. Kevin. There was a student who came over from Great Britain here to Glendalough and he started a series of poems in Irish about St. Kevin and he wanted to get across the message that St. Kevin was absolutely a man of prayer and that it was from his closeness to God through prayer that St. Kevin received his strength now, if Solomon had just said that, who would have remembered it? But Solomon came up with a story that hasn't been forgotten to this day. In the story, Kevin was here praying with his hands extended. And as he continued to pray so still, looking up to God and praying with his hands extended, that a blackbird landed down on the palm of his hand. And Kevin was so deep in prayer that he didn't budge an inch. And the blackbird, all delighted with herself, made her nest in the palm of his hand. And Kevin still kept his hands so still in prayer that the blackbird, even more delighted with herself still, laid her eggs in the nest in the palm of his hand. And he still kept his hands still so the blackbird was able to hatch her eggs in the palm of his hands. And he only brought back in his hands when the chicks flew off. But I'm going to read for you now a section from the poem by Solomon. Kevin used to engage in a form of penance, the like of which no saint before him ever did. He used to go into his cell every Lent, a practice which brought him under God's anointing. There he'd stand on the rough burnt flagstones, even though the cold hurt his feet, with chanting angels surrounding him. To Kevin, this was as good as a feast. A full six weeks without food or slightly longer he fasted, though it was tough. Then one day a blackbird hopped from a tree and nested in the saint's open hand. Kevin remained in his cell all alone, though great was the pain, with the nest of the blackbird in his palm until her chicks were hatched. Then God sent an angel to tell Kevin the strict ascetic that he was now to leave his little cell to fight the immorality in the world. But ah, he replied, the pain of my hand, though it was like a log under the blackbird, was but little penance. Think of the blood of his hands, his feet, his side, which the King of Heaven shed for me. Beautiful, isn't it? When you understand it in the context of the Irish storytelling tradition, of telling a story to make a point, with the two important things being, Number one, to get across the message. And number two, to tell it in such a way that everybody would remember it. St. Kevin had a most profound experience of the presence of Jesus. And to this day, Jesus still comes alive in people in the same sort of way. Back almost 50 years ago, I too was blessed with a life-transforming experience of Jesus coming alive within me. And then gradually over the years, I grew in my relationship with him. So that today he truly is my best friend. He truly is my strength, my joy, and he desires to be yours too. On our YouTube channel, I have a set of eight tutorials specifically designed to help people come to this type of relationship with Jesus Christ and to learn how to draw strength from Jesus. I strongly encourage you to study those eight tutorials. Meanwhile, let us pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you for every person watching this video. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will give them a vision of how you can come alive in their hearts, of how they can come to a living relationship with you. 
and the grace, Lord, to take the steps to become open to this living relationship and to settle for nothing less, to not settle for second best in life, but to seek you above all else and your plan for our lives. And I ask this in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.